Hi everyone, so I'm back with another great off-campus opportunity and this one is for all of you freshers out there. So if you don't know by now, MasterCard is hiring for Software Engineering 1 and they are taking applications from freshers as well. So this is a great opportunity if you're a fresher looking for a full-time job right now, this is a great job opening for you. So in this video, let's talk about the eligibility, let's talk about how you can apply and get your resume shortlisted and let's talk about how you can clear the interviews as well. And before we go into that, just a quick reminder that I make a lot of videos about any off-campus opportunities that are out there. So do subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out, especially if you're a college student looking for an internship or if you're a fresher looking for a full-time job, you will be seeing a lot of off-campus opportunities along with a guide on how to crack them. So make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Now coming back to this opportunity, let's talk about the eligibility. So if you have a bachelor's degree in engineering, mathematics, statistics, or any other related field in computer science, you are eligible to apply in this. So if you've graduated in 2025, then you are eligible to apply here. You don't need to have any work experience. You don't need to have any internship experience. You can apply. So that is the eligibility. And of course, the link to apply is in the description box. So make sure that you apply ASAP. But watch the video first so that I can give you the tips that is required to get your resume shortlisted and so that you know what to do to be able to crack the interviews. All right, so let's talk about the resume shortlisting first. What are the things that you need to put in your resume so that you end up getting shortlisted? So this is for full stack basically. So if you have front end and back end projects in your resume, that will give you an edge. So if you know HTML, CSS, JavaScript for front end and any framework like React, Angular, anything like that, that will give you an edge. So if you have a front end project, put that in your resume and under the skill section, make sure to put HTML, CSS, JavaScript and any other framework that you know, make sure to highlight that under the skill section. Likewise for backend, MasterCard does use Java. So if you have any Java project or for backend, if you worked with Spring Boot, if you worked with Java before, then make sure that you put that in your resume, make sure that you have a backend project if you have a complete full stack project then all the better that will definitely give you an edge so these are the skills that you should have you should have front end skills and either framework or html CSS, javascript at the bare minimum in back end you can have any programming language or you can have a framework that will be good as well and apart from that you need to have some high quality projects this is something i mentioned in all of my videos so make sure that you have some high quality projects and make sure that you've deployed them somewhere okay it's very essential that you deploy your project somewhere. Apart from that, you need to have good knowledge of CS fundamentals. So if you have made any project that require any CS fundamental, that involve any CS fundamental topics like networking, then of course you can showcase that in your resume as well. If you've used AI or if you've used Gen AI, you can also put that in your resume. Although it is not a requirement, but it may help you, right? But the main requirement is having some good project that involve front end, back end, or both. Okay. Apart from that, if you have good coding profiles, you can highlight that as well. And of course, do not forget the ATS score. You need to have a high ATS score in your resume. If you don't, then you will get rejected automatically in the beginning only. Okay. So make sure you have the right skills. Make sure you put in the right projects. Make sure you put in the right keywords and make sure you have a high ATS score. If you do all of this, your resume will surely get shortlisted. Now coming to the interviews, you will be asked a variety of things. And let me tell you, MasterCard's interviews are not difficult to crack. Trust me, you can easily get in. The DSA that they ask is not of that high level. And even if they ask medium hard problems, it will be a standard problem. All right. So if you've solved enough problems on lead code, that will be good enough. You will not see too much of a variation. You'll only see standard problems. All right. So the important topics will be in the description box. Along with that, I'll give some MasterCard tagged interview problems. Make sure that you solve that. And if you have solved Striver sheet, that well and good, but not, if not, then try to solve some easy medium problems on Striver sheet so that you get at least a bit of hands-on into DSA. And again, like I said, the important topics with the necessary problems will be in the description box. So you don't need to be a master of DSA. If you have basic skills, if you have like medium skills in DSA, you can crack the DSA of this interview. Apart from DSA, you need to be good in CS fundamentals. So they will be asking you questions on object-oriented programming. That is very essential here. So make sure that you're good with object-oriented programming. I'll give a complete playlist from Telesco, which in which he explains OOP very well. Make sure to watch that. Apart from that, you need to be good with operating systems. You need to be good with computer networks, although it's not that important. And of course, you have DBMS. So make sure that you have good knowledge of DBMS and SQL. 
and again the backend project that i mentioned in your resume make sure that you talk about the database that you have used if you have used the database okay because of course database skills will also give you an edge here so you need to be good with dvms you need to be good with sql doing dsa and cs fundamentals will make sure that you clear 70 to 80 percent of the interview apart from that they can ask you like some sort of puzzle so they can ask you questions on your resume about the projects the what the how and the why so make sure that you're very well aware of everything in your resume make sure that you're very well aware about the tech stacks that you've used in your resume because you will be asked questions from there as well and of course you need to have a good knowledge of git github because they might ask you questions on that of course as a software engineer you need to know git github so i'll give a crash course on git github if you don't know much about it you can just learn from there it's pretty easy apart from that if you have a bit of devops experience if you have worked on ci cd if you have worked on docker kubernetes something like that then that will also give you a little bit of edge even though they may not ask this in the interview but having such things in your resume will help you okay but if you don't don't worry about it but if you have then put it in your resume and so that you can also have a discussion about this in the interviews so that's pretty much it if you want to know more in depth i'll give some interview experiences in the description as well so you can read more about the interview processes that has happened in the past and yeah that's pretty much it make sure that you apply using the link in the description asap and stay tuned for more videos i'll be making a lot of videos about the off-campus hiring and internships for freshers and college students in off-campus so yeah let's see you in the next video